Hello everyone, we had a couple of questions come in off of the website as far as what is the best way to cut cameras within a scene. Now there are actually two ways that we can do that and we'll be showing you both ways in this video. So let me just show you first a quick little preview of what actually we'll be talking about. Now I have a scene set up here that we had done already. So I'm just going to open up the scene and just going to show you what exactly what we'll be doing. Within a scene we can actually set it up two ways to cut cameras within a scene. So here you can see this scene that we have set up that the globe is animating, the cameras are animating, but yet the cameras are actually cutting in between each other. So as I rewind again and hit play, what it does is cuts to camera two right there, three, camera four, and camera five. In this video, we'll actually show you two ways to do it, and one of them is through an action keyframe, and one way is a little bit simpler. So I can come back and right click in my server here and we're just going to create a new scene by right clicking and uh, we'll just call it whatever you want. I'll call this one and we're just going to go ahead and open the scene. Now the first thing that I want to do is add some type of background. So I have an image here. I'm just going to slide this green image over into the background here and I'm using it in the background image here because we're going to be working with the cameras and if we drug an image in the background here and use it in our scene tree. Even if we did push it all the way back in Z space and we scaled it up and everything, there's still gonna be problems because the camera is going to be affecting this background as well. So if we have it in the background setting here within our scene settings, we're using it as the background image, the camera is not gonna be affecting this background as much because it's stuck here in the background. So to begin, I'm also going to just use some type of object here. I have a pre-made object here that has some animation on it. You can use anything you want as well. So I'm just going to slide this globe down. And you can see this globe is one object. If I split it, it's made up of a couple of different things here. We got some rings and some cylinders and stuff. And if I hit play, it just kind of animates around. We have a couple of little animations on it. So when I go into my stage here, we have basically our director with our animations on it. And the first way that we're going to set a way to switch a camera is by using some action keyframes. So what I'm going to do is just first position this globe here over in the middle of the scene. I'm going to rewind my timeline like this, and then I'm going to go into the stage. Now I'm going to open up my director, and I already had this little action keyframe in here, so I'm just going to delete that. And what we want to do is actually make an action keyframe here to tell it to cut to a different camera. So I have my director highlighted. I just place my timeline bar where I want it. And we're going to come up here to the little A button and click on that. And what it does is say, please enter an action name. We'll just call this cams, something like that. I'll click OK. It created our little action here. So what we actually have to do is create the keyframe. So I'm just going to place my timeline bar again where I want it four seconds let's say we're going to come up here to add a keyframe it adds a keyframe right here now in the right hand side is where we can actually write our little action to cut the camera so what we want to say is editor asterisk for set camera two so we have that action what i also need to do is kind of offset camera two so i can do this a couple of ways i can come into my camera two here I can go into my scene settings here or my camera settings with with that drop down and I can move my camera to this way on the X or the Y or use any of these variables here or I can go into my views and just make sure camera 2 is highlighted here up in the editor and I can move camera 2. So I'm going to go into the stage here and what I'm going to do is rewind my timeline all the way back to the beginning. I'm going to reset my camera back to camera one here. And when we hit play, when it reaches this action keyframe, it should cut to camera two. So we hit play here. And once it hits that action keyframe, you can see how it cut to camera two there. Now, if I wanted to copy this keyframe, I could. I could just hold down C and click and drag and I'm going to drag it to the right here and then we're going to switch our camera so let's say we want to do something like camera 5 so instead of camera 2 we'll make this one camera 5 and then I'm going to come into my views so that I can change the setting of camera 5 so this time we're just going to go on top of it here and have it change like that now when we go back into the stage I'm going to rewind I'm going to start again with camera 1 
make sure that's on. I'm going to hit play, and when it reaches these two action keyframes here, it's going to cut to camera two, and then when it reaches this one, it's going to cut to camera five. So that's one way that you can create a camera cut within a scene. Another way that we can do this, and I'm going to close this scene here. We're going to start a brand new scene. So we're going to go, again, back into our scene settings and use some type of background here. So I'm just going to drag this image into the background. And again, I have a pre-made object here, a globe. It has some animation on it. And again, pretty much the same exact thing as the earlier one, just a different color. Now this time we're going to do a little bit different in that we're actually going to add some animation to the camera. So that's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to click on my camera one here to make sure it's active. I'm going to come into my camera setting. Camera one is active and I like to animate my cameras through the views. So what I'm going to do is just move my camera one here and I can use these handles to kind of align it up. And I'm going to set a keyframe right there. I'm going to move my camera one a little bit to the right reposition it. I'm going to set another keyframe. I'm going to go into camera 2, highlight camera 2, and I'm going to set a keyframe for this one too. So this time I'm going to have camera 2 start near the top. I'm going to set a keyframe and it's going to animate down here towards the bottom. And when you're clicking around on cameras, just be careful that you're actually clicking on the right thing here or grab at the right spot so that it, it knows exactly what you're clicking on. So I set another keyframe there for camera two. You can see that it moves if we move our timeline bar. I'm going to do the same thing for camera three. Again, we're going to add a different type of animation for camera three. So maybe we'll just start it here. I'll set a keyframe. We'll have it move out a little bit. And again, camera four, we're going to set a keyframe for that one. So I have camera four highlighted and I'm going to have it maybe start from the bottom. We'll set a keyframe. It's going to come to the top. And we're going to do one more with camera five. So I'm going to set a keyframe for camera five. So this time camera five, maybe we'll have it start over in this area here. We'll set a keyframe and we'll animate camera five around. So if I go back into my server here, we hit play. Now we just see camera one animating, but if we switch to each one of these cameras and hit play, we're going to see the different animation on it. So here's camera two. I'm going to hit play on that one. And eventually you can see that little camera move that we have on it. When I go into my stage here, you can see that we have our camera one, camera two, camera three, camera four, and camera five. So each one of these has an animation. Now what we want, actually want to do is have the cameras jump or cut to different cameras. And to do that, we can do it a different way than action keyframes. So we can right click in our area up here underneath our director or click right on the director. And when you right click, you have this little option for add scene. So I'm going to go ahead and click add scene. And then within the stage here or underneath the director, it has this little scene here. So if we right click again on this scene, we can go scene current camera and it creates keyframes. So here I'm going to highlight this keyframe. So this is my first camera that I want. Here's my second keyframe. And on this second keyframe, key I'm going to have it jump to camera two. So I'm going to change the value here from one to two. And now again, I want to just copy these keyframes. So I'm going to hold down C, click and drag. This keyframe is going to be camera three. I'm going to hold down C, click and drag again. This camera is going to be four. And I'm going to hold down C and drag again. And this camera is going to be five. Now, all I need to do really is just start aligning up my animations for the length and stuff like that. So I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. We're going to have each camera maybe rotated a, a second or two. So I'm just going to come in here and maybe spread these out to about two seconds each for each camera move. And once we have that, what I'm going to do is go back then and set these keyframes too. So give us a little bit more room. I'm just going to slide this bar down here and now we have a little bit more room. So this is where camera one ends and this is where I want it to switch to camera two. So I'm going to line this keyframe right there. So if we zoom in a little bit with our middle mouse scroll button here, we can see it better. Now I'm going to move it down to the next place and I'm going to set my camera three keyframe right there. 
And here's our camera four keyframe that I'm going to slide right down to the end of that. And this is where I want it to switch to camera five. So I'm just gonna put that keyframe right there. Now, when we come back here, rewind our timeline, it should be playing all of our cameras along with cutting to it. So I'm gonna start here with camera one again, make sure my camera one is highlighted. And if you wanted to do it up in this window too, you could. So let's go into our container here and we'll close our camera box. So I'm gonna hit play here, we'll rewind. And here's our camera one, it cuts to two, cuts to three, cuts to camera four, and then finally it's going to cut to camera five. So this is a way that you can cut cameras within a scene. Now you do need to be careful as far as if you go to post this out, it's only going to render one camera at a time. So if you do need to get this out and post it out, what you'll need to do is actually switch cameras and render each camera out individually. And then you can kind of edit that together in another post software. So hopefully this helps a little bit filling in on how to animate some cameras and or switch cameras within your scene.